In our clinical rounds this morning, Dr. Anderson presented a patient who had a foot drop and the foot drop was painless, but he had numbness associated with it. And we had a discussion as to what it could be. Sometimes, and most of the time maybe, a foot drop is from an injury to the L5 nerve in the lower back. But it can also be uh, from other causes. And I wanted to take a moment to discuss a peroneal nerve injury and how to distinguish a peroneal nerve injury from an L5 radiculopathy. The L5 nerve in the lower back courses past the L4-5 disc space and out the spine and then contributes to the sciatic nerve and goes down the leg. The patients can have a disc herniation or compression of the L5 nerve and develop a foot drop. Usually the foot drop is associated with pain in the buttocks and maybe numbness, but the pain is a really big distinguishing factor from foot drop and weakness related to a peroneal nerve injury, which is a nerve that crosses over the fibular head on the side of the knee. That nerve is quite superficial, and sometimes a patient could wake up from sleeping in a recliner with their legs crossed, or in the patient's case, they had been in a long drive in a small car and the left side of the knee was up against the side door of the car. In a case of a peroneal nerve uh, injury causing a foot drop, there's usually no pain, the numbness is just below the knee, and then there's some distinguishing features in the foot drop itself. The patients have difficulty raising the foot up, yes, but also have difficulty in eversion of the foot, but they can invert the foot. Patients that have an L5 radiculopathy causing a foot drop have problems in both eversion and inversion. The management of a peroneal nerve injury is to first make the diagnosis. It's good to do an nerve conduction study to confirm that it is a peroneal nerve problem. Uh, the nerve conduction study could also show if it was an L5 radiculopathy or other cause. It was mentioned in the meeting, it's important for the patients to immediately start wearing an AFL brace, which is a brace that holds the foot up. The reason for that is the patient will start to lose range of motion if the foot is weak for a prolonged period of time. So we want to preserve that. An L5 radiculopathy due to a disc herniation in the low back is usually a surgical problem. A peroneal nerve injury due to compression of the nerve um, from sleeping or resting up against something is usually not a surgical problem and something that we want to do physical therapy for. So it's a very important distinction.